All right, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Discard to Reroll, casually competitive deck techs. So I am your host, Ray, and I'll be walking you through this deck that uh, I think is a lot of fun. It's pretty effective at times. Um, and uh, kind of has some surprising spice in here. So let's start right off. We have our characters, which is Leia Organa. This is uh, the Boosh version. Uh, she's 11 health, uh, 13, 16. We're going to be playing her at Elite at 16. Uh, she has two base damage sides, uh, one melee, two melee, a discard side, resource, and the special. The special is really what we're going to try to abuse uh, most often, and it is deal two damage to each of an opponent's characters unless they give you one resource or two resources instead if you can spot a villain card. Uh, also, text on here is you can include up to five villain cards in your deck. Uh, character subtype is a scoundrel. Uh, that becomes relevant a little bit later uh, as uh, we get into the battlefield. Uh, moving on, we have Padme Amidala, Resolute Senator. She has 10 health. Uh, she's 14 for Elite. Uh, die sides are 1 focus, 2 focus, 3 focus, a discard, a resource, and a blank. And then she has the really cool text that says, you may resolve your sides showing focus as if they were indirect damage so we are an aggro deck and we're going to focus primarily on uh, utilizing those focus sides uh, to aggro down our opponent and uh, dish out uh, massive amounts of indirect uh, there are certain you know ways that we can kind of manipulate those values and uh, uh, use them a little bit more to our benefit uh, but this is an aggro deck and we're just looking to disperse as much damage to our opponent as possible uh, moving on to the battlefield it's mean streets of Corellia. Uh it says claim you may spot a scoundrel so we're gonna be able to spot uh, Leia and it says uh, place one resource on this battlefield you may play an event from your hand decreasing its cost by the number of resources on this battlefield so this becomes a little relevant uh, as we get into some of the events, obviously, uh, and we'll, we'll come back to, to Mean Streets. Uh, but it's super cool card. Uh, I, I really do like it. Been putting it in a lot of decks. I think Scoundrels got the most love out of any subtype uh, with uh, Convergence. So keep an eye out on this battlefield. I think uh, a lot of people are going to be using this. Uh, so let's move on to the upgrades. Uh, just, I think, pound for pound, the best value upgrade is Handheld S or LS1 cannon, and look, it has Leia uh, without the costume on, uh, holding that giant cannon. Uh, just the amount of damage this, this card can do is great. Uh, like I said, we're looking to disperse damage as much as possible. Um, we really don't like the plus three side, but uh, we have you know three other sides on the die uh, that, that we really like. So uh, we're going to have to just kind of reroll that one or focus uh, with some of the other things. But uh, I think it's uh, still uh, just a great value, and we have it just at one here. Uh, moving on, uh, I think this card is sneaky. Uh, we've been calling it the uh, Jurassic Park Eggs, uh, but it's Sonic Detonators. Uh, so for three cost, you get a card that has a very unique text on it. So it says, uh, after you play this card, place six resources on it. Uh, special, remove any number of resources from this upgrade to choose that many characters and deal two damage to each of them. Uh, die sides are two disrupt. One discard, two discard, a special, a special, and a blank. Sorry, I kind of got hung up on the uh, the disrupt. Sometimes disrupts like throw me for a loop. I want to say discard. Uh, this is an upgrade weapon. It's neutral. Uh, this is going to help us just disperse a lot more damage along the way. Uh, so I really do like this card. I think that we'll, we'll see this um, moving forward. I think this is also a great addition if you want to just play the uh, old school uh, Boosh and Yoda version, I think that this card could uh, see a lot of play. Uh, moving on, we have two copies of Riot Shield. I'm just in love with the card. Now listen, we don't have any troopers on our uh, side of the board, but it still is uh, pay one block two damage, um, and it stays on the character, so it's pretty cool. Uh, we have a, a, a neat way to kind of bring this back onto the battlefield uh, if, if need be, uh, but yeah, it's an upgrade, it's an equipment, um, only costs one, and it can block two damage for uh, for our characters. Uh, we have two copies of Moxie. Now we're obviously going to want to put this on to uh, Boosh, and uh, basically it's the uh, modern day uh, version 
uh, of cunning, uh, and it allows us to uh, to use that special and then uh, uh, utilize Boosh's special because it's it's specific to the character it's attached to. Uh, so uh, you know, be aware of that. You can't put this on uh, Padme and then uh, expect to use uh, use Boosh's um, special. So it's uh, die sides are uh, one focus one shield one resource those are all really good uh and then the focus becomes a um uh, one indirect so if you want to look at it that way uh that's you know semi-helpful uh so there's a lot of controversy on this card so it's dengar's fire blade i'll be the first to say this card's horrible but in this deck it's pretty fun uh so it's three cost uh, it has, <laughs> it's a, a unique upgrade. It's a villain. So this is one of our villain applications. Now I know with, uh, the, the Boosh version, you want to have your, your villain cards be like some of your cheaper cards. Uh, but this card just seems really fun. Uh, I, I, I've enjoyed, uh, kind of, you know, placing this card in the deck. Uh, it's die sides are relevant uh, when they're paired up with Boosh. Uh, the plus four obviously can hit really hard, uh, but I do like some of the other die sides. I think it's really sneaky to have the uh, two disrupt, the two shield, and the resource. Uh, and then it, the after you play this upgrade, you may deal one damage to a character that has a bounty on it. It's kind of relevant in this deck, so uh, you know just be aware. Uh, we have one copy of Skilled Tracker. So this is just to help out uh, with mitigation as well as uh, to fill the need for uh, Boosh's requirement of spotting a villain card. Uh, so pretty helpful there, and it uh, only costs one. Again, has a discard, has a disrupt, has a resource. So all good things we like to see. Uh, so moving on, I, I just want to get into this. We got downgrades in the deck. So I think some of the downgrades in this deck are pretty cool and could uh, could be pretty fun. So we have one copy of Target Acquired. So it says uh, damaged character only. So be aware of that. Uh, it says uh, indirect damage assigned by attached characters. Controller must be assigned to attached character if able. So the best thing about this is the minute you uh, are able to kind of disperse the damage using uh, Boosh's ability, then this card is completely live. You can put it on any of the characters. And then... And uh, what you're going to want to do is probably put it on their best character. So if uh, you know, if you envision you're playing against a Snoke three wide deck, you'll just throw this on Snoke, and then all the indirect damage that you're able to do just goes directly onto Snoke, and uh, it can pile up really quick the amount of indirect. Uh, so I like this card. I like it at, at a one of. Uh, I think two becomes a little clunky, and uh, to be honest with you. I, I'm not sure if the priority would then go on your side. So to mitigate that entire, um, you know, possibility, just just play one target acquire. Uh, two more of the villain cards that we add to the deck. It is enticing reward. So we have downgrades in the deck. I think it's super fun. Uh, after attached character is defeated, you may play an equipment or a weapon from your hand or discard pile. So this is where I was talking about we have a little bit of like recursion with some of our uh, upgrades, specifically the uh, riot shield is an equipment. So the things that we can kind of recycle is uh, the handheld cannon, the sonic detonators, and the cool thing is if we if we are able to get through a full you know resolution cycle of sonic detonators, then boom we can come back bring it back in with another six uh, resources on it. Uh, highly unlikely, but you know, that, 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 that can happen. Uh, like I said, the Riot Shield, uh, the Dengar's Fire Blade, the only things we can't bring back are the Moxie and the Skill Tracker because they are abilities. Uh, so it fills the need for the um, Spot Villain, and, and then it also accelerates our, our game a little bit further. Uh, so just be aware of that. Um, now, I have gotten some backlash on like the, hey, well, these downgrades, they will leave play. So like, hey, what the heck? Uh, but I think it does work in, in this application. Uh, two copies of Hampered. Uh, Hampered's really cool because uh, it just uh, it enables you to slow down your opponent, uh, you know, make them a little less effective. It costs zero. Uh, I, I like it a lot. Uh, it They can only... Uh, resolve up to one of their character dice, so it's 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 really nice. Uh, I think it's I think it should see more play, uh, even in in certain decks. Like if you want to put it like ahead of a suppressive fire, I don't know. It, it could it could work in, in some aspects, but uh, hampered uh, two of there, and it just kind of rounds out the uh, the downgrade package. So to help out with the downgrades a little bit more and to fill out the last and final uh, villain card we have is uh, Punishing One. So I liked Punishing One instead of like uh, just some other two cost uh, upgrade because 
uh, it's going to stay on board and then it just gets a little bit more uh, synergistic with the uh, downgrades. So if this is on board and, uh, you know, one of the characters like the enticing reward leaves play, this is still going to be on board. Uh, it'll stay no matter if your your characters start dying off. Uh, it, it just kind of stays there. So it says uh, it's die size or one range, two range, two indirect, one disrupt, one uh, resource. So I like the, the die side. It's great. Um, it says after an opponent's character that has a bounty on it is defeated, you may ready this support. Obviously, we have a lot of like Dengar references here, but none of this is going to apply with the, the Dengar because we're not running them. Uh, but I do like that, uh, you know, paying two for this, being able to roll it in, uh, being able to uh, kill an opponent's character, you know, down the road and then get a quick uh, ready off of this. I think it's uh, it's pretty good. Uh, we have one copy of On the Mark. Now, one copy here because I think it could be really sneaky. Like, uh, you know, you are uh, facing, you know, uh, two characters to your one Padme because uh, Boosh is already down, and then you play this for the round. Uh, costs zero, so it's not going to hurt you at all. And then you're able to start, like, sniping characters with her, her uh, focus sides. But it basically says... Anything that uh, you could resolve as uh, indirect can be resolved as ranged. So uh, really cool. You discard this at the end of play. So just be be mindful of that. Um, this doesn't stay on board. Uh, just watch out uh, so you don't you know have this sticking around well past your when you're supposed to. But I think it's uh, very surprising and could lead to uh, uh, to some interesting play down the road. Uh, moving on, we have one copy of. Padme Amidala's Royal Starship. So uh, just great value here. Uh, you know, those focus sides become indirect damage. We have shield sides. We have the two resource, which is huge. And it says after you activate the support, you can give a leader one shield. If that leader is Padme, activate her. So uh, works really well with Padme, obviously. And uh, I, I think it's a it's a nice addition to this deck. Uh, there have been times where I played the deck and I just haven't been able to 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 give up the amount of resources to to get to three. Um, and you know, with one of, you just pitch it. You know. You don't feel too bad about it. So uh, just the one of there. So moving on to the uh, events here, we have two copies of Field Medic. So just a good card to be able to uh, extend the life of your characters. Not too much needs to be said on that. Uh, two copies of Seize the Day. Now, uh, you are going to be a little bit faster of a deck. Uh, so being able to gain two actions, it's almost like the... Um, hero uh or you know the hero's ability it, it's a neutral card but it's like the here you know because hero can play it of um tactical mastery uh the only condition is you do have to control the battlefield so just be mindful of that uh like i said you are probably going to be faster than your opponent because you're two character aggro list but um you know, being able to take two additional actions and do some pretty nutty things, uh, especially uh, with, you know, all your dice in the pool and, and Padme's um, uh, focusing ability, it, it could be, you know, pretty good card. Uh, two copies of Flee the Scene. So this is where the synergy really becomes like crazy ridiculous. Um, so Flee the Scene only costs one. And then this is where Mean Streets of Corellia really puts in work because it says uh, spot a scoundrel. So that'll be your boosh. And then you may place one resource on this. And this is the claim ability, mind you. Uh, place one resource on this. Uh, you may play an event from your hand decreasing its cost by the number of resources on this. So basically you claim, and then you're able to play flee the scene and kind of blank or remove their two best dice. And you don't care about that you pass the, the, your next two uh, two turns. It, it doesn't bother you at all uh, because you, you've already claimed. I think that ability is just really strong. Um, there were some applications where... Um, you know, you might want to play this card a little sooner uh, than claiming, but being able to claim and uh, remove the two dice because you know you have this in your hand, it's just really strong. Uh, one copy of Aggressive Negotiations. Now, this card was just made for Padme. Uh, cost two resources, a little bit up there, but it says choose an opponent, uh, have them remove any number of their dice, then deal two indirect to that opponent for each of their die showing uh, ranged, melee, or indirect. So basically, if they if they aren't going to just straight up kill you, they're probably going to remove a lot of their dice. This is a, a pretty blowout play, and again, works really well with Mean Streets of Corellia. Um, you know, even if you had to pay one for this, I think it's just a crazy value. Um, you know, I think that this works pr best probably like turn two, turn three, uh, where, you know, your your characters aren't 
aren't in, in range of lethal. Maybe probably turn one, turn two. Uh, but uh, they aren't in, in range of lethal, but your opponent is showing some really good die sides. And you just slam this down, and then uh, you, they have to make a hard decision. Are they going to take, you know... 6 indirect, 10 indirect, uh, or are they going to remove those dice? More than likely, you're going to probably see them remove those dice because uh, that's pretty aggressive. Uh, one copy of Hasty Exit, just a great card. Like I said, you're an aggro deck, you move fast, you maintain control of the battlefield, and uh, you're able to uh, to give the battlefield back to them, the, pr the actual physical battlefield, uh, and remove a die. Uh, showing damage, so be, be sure of that. I've seen a lot of people just be like, I'll remove your special, but it's only damage. Uh, one copy of Entangled, obviously great card, little needs to be said about that. Two copies of Impulsive, so Impulsive is pretty nutty in this deck uh, with the amount of focus that you have for um, for uh, with, with uh, Padme. Uh, so you're able to like focus her three side into like three things and then uh, you take an additional action, so boom, you just can resolve like a bunch of specials. Uh, the craziest thing would be like uh, a Sonic Detonator on... Um, Leia Organa, you have the, the Padme three side, and then you hit them with an impulsive into three specials, and then resolve three specials. Uh, just huge value there. Like, you're, you're dealing, uh, let's see, and say if we were able to spot a, a villain card, let's see, uh, so it'd be like uh, a lot of damage. I don't know. Like, just a lot of damage. It's a huge swing uh, for a zero-cost uh, event card. I think it's a, it's a must in there. Uh, and then two copies of Easy Pickings. Again, little needs to be said about that. But uh, let me know what you think about the deck. Just give it a give it a try. Uh, I think the downgrades add like a really fun element to the deck. Uh, and then uh, obviously, uh, you know, the unsung hero of the deck is Dengar's Fire Blade. Um, you know, it feels really good if you're able to hit him like a six spot uh, with Boosh. Uh, you know, if you want to just uh, aggro down a, a specific character that's bothering you too much. Um, there's so much for them to have to remove uh, that, it, you know, it might be a little hard pressed for them to like just target something like that. But a plus four side is devastating at times. Um, some some cards that, you know, you could probably change out. Uh, certainly you can get rid of the downgrade package. That's just more flavorful. Uh, there's small synergy with, you know, Dengar's Fireblade as well as the uh, Punishing one. Uh, you know, there, there's things like that. Uh, some MVPs of the deck, I will say, is um, Impulsive. Uh, flee the scene. Uh, the sonic detonators are amazing. And then I will say, you know, uh, a sneaky card is on the mark. So if you uh, if you want to play this deck, let us know how, how you like it. Uh, obviously, uh, check back and we'll be able to upload some more deck techs for you. I like to keep them relatively short. Uh, hopefully this wasn't too long, uh, but thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next video.